Hey brew tubers! Happy Homebrew Wednesday. BH Brew in here. Wanted to uh, give you an update of what's happening down here in the man cave. Get you uh, finally uh, a preview of what's happening and uh, let you know of a project that I got coming on that I've seen to have worked for me. And now it's my turn to pass it on to you guys, see if it'll help you out. Um, great cast hockey player on Saturday night. That's probably one of the best that I've seen. It's awesome that we're getting a lot more guys in there. Wish I could have hung around more that night, but I had to work. Um, I do like the review of all the guys that uh, are on YouTube sending you beers and you doing it live right then. And uh, that was pretty awesome. So uh, let me give you a drink of the pale ale right here. Let me unhook here and give you an idea of what we got going on down here. This is the man cave and it was designed around brewing and having fun. So let's get back out here a little bit. You see yeah, I got the car posters chilling and all that. Um, as you can see the bar is not done yet. So I'm in the process of finishing it um, and that'll be pretty cool because I'll be having that coming up in videos um, as, I, as I progress through that. But uh, you can see here, I got a nice bar area, three top bar. I got more room to work down here. Everything has been designed around brewing again. So as you can tell, storage cabinets down here for all the brew kettles. Um, as we work our way around here, got another uh, bar top area that'll be here, more storage below. Um, just a little bit of the grains that I got. Yeah. 80s rock. Uh, as you cruise down this way, you can see I have a countertop here with a sheet of plywood on it. This is going to be a sink. Um, I don't know if Hokey Homebrew's ever watched any of these videos, but he is 100% right when it comes to needing a sink. And this bar was designed primarily around the sink area because I got tired of carrying buckets of water and everything as I went. Um, we'll come back to these two garboys here in a minute because that's going to be one of the projects I'm going to show you that I got coming up. I got another small fridge right here that uh, I haven't decided if I want to turn it into a fermentation chamber yet or if I just want to leave it um, as just a small fridge. Um, got some of the coolers chilling here, some of the equipment down there. Uh, so with a window well, so what do I do with this window well? Well, let me show you here. I open that bad boy up and that's exactly where I brew. That's where I do my brewing in the window well. And then I can close the thing if it's cold out, if it's hot out. Um, and then I can drain straight right into a carboy around the floor right here and everything works out perfect. I'm getting a little tight here, but got a nice storage area. We got 50 pounds of grain chilling there. Those buckets all have grain in them too. This needs to be a little more organized, but we're getting there. Um, let me show you this here. Any of you guys recognize this? That's a Jake CPU nut stir plate right there. He's the man. I got four extra kegs chilling up here. I'll have bottle storage in between them right there so there won't be any wasted space there. And then let's close this. I got a small chest freezer here that uh, I can't decide if I'm going to leave it is a fermentation chamber right now which is what I've been doing. And it seems to be working great. And then I'll probably eventually change it into a three keg keezer. I just have some, these are some of my bottles that I have conditioning in there right now. Uh, that's, that's there. And then you can't have a man cave without a flat screen TV chilling. So let's get back over here to these carboys and I'll explain what I got going on here. So in the past, what I've been doing is 
This is how I mark the levels in the carboy because there's no markings on a glass one. And I would put blue painter's tape around wherever I wanted my liquid to fill. So that was like the three gallon line and then I had the five gallon line of course. And we all know how those work that sometimes you're on, sometimes you're off. Well I wanted to be more accurate. So I don't know if you guys seen uh, Mrs. The Social and her glasses and how she etches and stuff. That is completely awesome. I've been glass etching for a long time as well. And uh, let me show you what I've been doing with my carboys the last couple years. Um, I'll get down here low. This is just water that I put in there with yellow food coloring so you can tell the difference with a little bit of the backdrop. But as you can see, I've glass etched into it. There's one gallon, two, three, four, and then all the way up to five. I made the five gallon one a little bit longer because that's what I'm always shooting for. But it's very accurate now. And so what you can tell is in the carboy versus doing the tape method. So I will have a video coming out soon on how I did this and showing the process of what I've done. And I'm going to actually etch this one for you guys. So you can see um, how I did it, what equipment I used, and it only takes about 20 minutes to do the entire process of even you know filling this, marking your gallons off, and then going about it that way. So um, let's put the camera back over here, get this locked in. A little flip here. I'm not good at editing yet. I'm getting better at it. My brother-in-law's in town. He is bad ass when it comes to computer stuff. So I'm hoping to have him help me uh, the next couple days. Also with that, we're going on vacation. Um, Main Brew Guy, very cool video showing uh, the brewery in your neighborhood there. Um, I plan on doing the same. What's nice about Colorado is you go on vacation, wherever you go, there's a brewery. So I plan on hitting at least three of them. I'll film as much as I can or take pictures, let you guys know what's uh, happening here, give you kind of a background of what the breweries are um, that I'll be going to, and then of course, we'll definitely be sampling some of them. Um, hope you guys have a good homebrew Wednesday. I'll have the video on the carboy thing coming out, and I have a couple ideas after that um, that I'll give, you a, I'll give you a heads up on before it comes out. Um, I want to say a shout out to all you guys that have been subscribed to my channel. I've been watching your guys' videos as well. Looks like we have a lot of people like me that are just first timers that have been watching for a very long time and have finally now made the jump to doing videos. And I'm going to start posting you guys' stuff so we can get you guys subscribed just like I have. Thanks to you, hockey player, with that huge shout out. That jump started a lot of it. And uh, I hope you guys have a good homebrew Wednesday. And uh, we'll see you next week.